yes, I'm really excited to play this character because um, she's kind of, she's very different than me. She's um, kind of mean. People all over Alabaster are getting excited as the date for this year's Alabaster Night Out has been revealed. Teams all over the state are preparing for a big Friday night as they face off for the sixth week of the season. I'll give you a preview in today's sports. The date for the fall performance of Meteor Boy is getting close, and reporter Lizzie Milstead is going to bring you face to face with some of the cast in today's entertainment. The Board of Education is taking their focus off the new high school. Good morning, I'm Danny Milan. And I'm Simon Schusler, and this is THS TV. As, Alab as Alabaster's largest construction project comes to a close, the city schools are now turning their attention to improving already existing facilities. Money is already being put into new roofing for the 6th grade center. This will also include $2.5 million towards technology upgrades through all throughout all ACS schools. There will be $1.5 million put towards the intermediate school and $1 million put towards the 6th grade center for, for the school system central office. These renovations will be put into effect throughout the next five years. Keep tuning into THS TV for more updates. Last week, six Alabaster City school students were honored in an award for the display of character in these schools. Awards were given to students from Meadowview, Creepview, TIS, Thompson 6th Grade Center, Thompson Middle School, and Thompson High School. These awards were given to students that are recommended by the teachers or administrators and are demonstrating outstanding, char outstanding character. Addison Pearson won the award for Creekview, while Noah Humphreys won the award for Meadowview. For TIS, the award was given to J.L. Ramirez Rojas, and Sasha Gunn won the award for Thompson 6th Grade Center. Taylor Rogers won the award for TMS, and Will Vickers won the award for THS. Students are getting prepared for their future career path in high school, and reporter Sawyer Callahan has information on how to get a head start on top paying jobs in the science and mathematics field. At THS, there are many career specified classes to participate in, and one of those includes the Health Science Foundation. Students in the classes generally are interested in the medical field and wish to pursue it in their career choice, such as being doctors, surgeons, nurses, or anything related to the field. Students acquire knowledge of the body, fear scenarios, and the type of atmosphere in the field. Mr. Garrett, teacher of one of the classes that focuses on the field, shares what he thinks of his students and their motivation if they truly are committed. Well, uh, I think the majority of our students are, uh, are very bright and intelligent and uh, have, a, I have a good idea of where they're uh, tracking career-wise and where they uh, plan to be after high school. Um, some of the things that should motivate them uh, are the obvious. They have, to, they have to be compassionate. They have to already have an idea of, of what their pursuits would be. And then some may just be that they're following a, a family tradition or a path that is um, uh, in line with what their parents may have done. This career-oriented class is something not to miss, as the teachers strive to get their students on the right track and the students strive to achieve their goals. Reporting for THS TV, I'm Avery Zhao. Hashtag the Carter Five is trending on Twitter after Fame rapper Lil Wayne dropped his long-awaited project last night. The project featured the likes of Kendrick Lamar, Travis Scott, Snoop Dogg, and XXX Tentacion. Fans were quick to leave their own thoughts about the project, and many fans praising the album for the depth and insight of his previous life, not discussed by Wayne. Perhaps the most discussed, the most discussed is this track is Let It All Work Out, in which Wayne describes the time where he attempted suicide as a teenager. Do you, what do you think about the album? Tweet us at THS News TV on Twitter and for a chance to be featured on an upcoming show. Now let's take another look at Hot Topics and today's national headlines. 6,000 dinosaur discovery was Earth's largest land animal. A dinosaur fossil has been discovered in South Africa, which is revealed to be a relative of the Brontosaurus and weighs double the size of a large African elephant. Students from Bristol University in the UK have raised enough money to send their janitor, Herman Gordon, on a week-long trip to Kingston to see his family for the first time in nearly a decade. 
He has been spreading his kindness at the university for more than 11 years, and the students at the UK University decided it was time to return the favor. Cadillac Car Brand is moving its headquarters back to Michigan. Four years ago, it was announced that the headquarters would move to New York as a separate business unit, but now the unit will move back to Detroit, first reported by Wall Street Journal. Not only did the volleyball players have a great win, they also had teacher appreciation night, you know, kind of appreciating all the teachers that had Yeah, I think it's really cool when sports do that and, like, appreciate all the teachers that help out with the sports and, like, because they, like, it's just such a good program to do. Yeah, it's great to see all the teachers, you know, getting appreciated and, you know, the students really showing how much they uh, appreciate their teachers. <laughs> so, uh, you know, soccer does it too, and uh, I think it's a tradition that more sports need to take on. So. And I've got more in today's sports. But first, we've got your needs to know in, today, in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. Come on THS TV. The cross country team competed on Tuesday, and I have a recap in today's sports. Many students from different schools came together for See You at the Poll Wednesday, and I have more on that in today's news. You're watching THS TV, Thompson High School source for sports. Football is now halfway into the season, and reporter Aaron Long will fill you in on where several central teams are headed next. The varsity football team is off tonight following a 35-0 win against Tuscaloosa County last Friday night. The Warriors are currently ranked third in the state and will be back on the turf next Friday in a home game against Spain Park. I think we played good. Our defense played amazing and offensively we, we scored some points but we still got to get things rolling and the running game kind of stepped up so that's that's good and so yeah I think we played pretty well but we still got to keep going and get ready for this home stretch. While Thompson is having a bye week several other schools in the central Alabama region will be facing off in their own competitive games. Number five ranked Hoover is also having a bye week but will be going head to head with the Tuscaloosa County Wildcats next Friday in Northport. Hoover is coming off of a 48 to 20 win against number 15 Oak Mountain, which placed them back to their higher spot at fifth. Oak Mountain is scheduled to play against the Pelham Panthers on Pelham's home field tonight. Pelham played Chelsea last Friday and was able to come out of the game with a close win of 46 to 42 points. The Helena Huskies will go up against Gadsden Southside High School tonight, following their loss against Minor last week. Ninth-ranked Mountain Brook will go up against Oak Mountain next Friday night after a 28-14 win against the Vestavia Hills Rebels. Mountain Brook has had an undefeated season up to this point and is expected to do well against the Eagles next week. Vestavia Hills will match up with the Shades Valley High School Mounties, following only one season loss so far against Mountain Brook. 
Their non-conference game will be held tonight in Birmingham on Shades Valley's home field. Thompson will resume play next week against the Jags on home field. Kickoff will start at 7 o'clock. I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to do really well after this week off. And uh, we had a lot of guys banged up and uh, just a really tough stretch to start off the season. And I'm looking forward to uh, coming out there and kind of being fresh and uh, playing in front of the uh, home crowd and just seeing how it goes. For TGS TV on Thompson and Central Alabama football, I'm Aaron Long. The volleyball team faced Tuscaloosa County last night, and they also had a teacher appreciation night. The volleyball players selected teachers that made a difference in their lives. The players made a special dedication to Becky Emerson and her family and had accepted her flowers. A few highlights from the game. Player Bree Wilson, playing forward, had three aces, 25 assists, and 13 digs. Then the team's pin hitters had a total of 17 kills, with Michaela Tui had 17 kills, nine kills, and player Colby Reed had five kills. Lastly, Isabel Goolsby had three kills, and Varsity played three out of five sets, winning three sets. Earlier this week, the cross-country team raced in Shelby County Championship, and here are the results from the meet. For the girls' varsity, Mackenzie Hogue played first in 5,000 meter with a time under 25 minutes. The girls' varsity played fourth overall, and for the boys, varsity Jace Jones came in first with a time under 17 minutes and with Brandon Lee coming in third. The boys' team came in second overall, and for a full list of all the members' places, visit al.milesplit.com. From the high school gym to the college trove, we've got the latest details in today's national sports headlines. to come on THS TV. Having trouble finding a homecoming dress? I have some places you could go. In today's entertainment. to come on THS TV. Having trouble finding a homecoming dress? I have some places you could go in today's entertainment. Having trouble taking tests? In today's health corner, I have some healthy snack suggestions to help you be prepared for those tests. This is THS TV, Thompson High School's source for entertainment. Locals will have a chance to connect with the first responders who keep them safe in Alabaster during the city's upcoming National Night Out on Crime event in early October. The free event will be held from 6 to 8 on Tuesday, October 2nd in the parking lot of the Target store in the South Promenade Shopping Center. Each year, the Alabaster Police Department and the Alabaster Fire Department join other local nonprofit and community service organizations such as Safe House of Shelby County Compact 2020 and Police Explorer Posts as they set up tables in the store's parking lot. During the event, members of the public get a chance to take an up-close look at the, fire, at the equipment used by the fire and police departments, and they have an opportunity to talk with first responders. The SGA committee has been selling homecoming tickets in these past few weeks while continuing to work on their projects. SGA has been working on homecoming parade floats for a few weeks and hope it will be good enough to take the best this year. SGA has worked very hard on this year on a homecoming parade and are very excited. The homecoming parade will be held on Wednesday, October 10th at 6 p.m. SGA will showcase their float and have it put in for a chance to win best float at the parade. So speaking of the homecoming parade, homecoming is coming up um, just two weeks from tomorrow and I know a lot of girls are looking for their dresses right now because there's not much time left. Yeah, luckily for them, there's a lot of uh, shops around town, such as, you know, glitz and gowns that you can go and uh, get that dress from. Yeah, it's always nice to see how the cute dresses, like, you know, the way that, like, how they go all out for it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just really fun to see all the dresses. I've got more in today's entertainment. But first, Brad, has your local forecast in today's warrior weather? We'll be right back.
come on THS TV. Having trouble finding a homecoming dress? I have some places you could go in today's entertainment. Having trouble taking tests? In today's health corner, I have some healthy snack suggestions to help you be prepared for those tests. This is THS TV, Thompson High School's source for entertainment. Good morning, I'm Brad Lewis with Green Warrior Weather. Today's forecast has a high of 82 and a low of 66 with partly cloudy skies. Saturday's forecast has a high of 85 and a low of 66 with a partly cloudy skies. Sunday's forecast is a high of 86 and a low of 70 with scattered thunderstorms. Monday's forecast is a high of 83 and a low of 68 with scattered thunderstorms. And Tuesday has a high of 86 and a low of 67. That's all for today's Warrior Weather. Now to Ashley with more entertainment. Seniors Molly Martin and Julia McCammon are a part of the theater produ department's production of Meteor Boy, and reporter Lizzie Milsett will tell you more about who they will be playing. The theater department's first play in the new Performing Arts Center is coming soon. Senior Molly Martin will be playing one of the female lead roles, Debbie Cowles. Debbie is the mean girl in the play and is all about popularity and her image. Martin enjoys playing a character that is so different from herself. It's really fun because she's kind of the sassy one. She's really mean and it's just so unlike me that, you know, it's just really fun playing her. Debbie is only with George, who is played by Peter DeToro, because he is the big star in town after catching the meteorite. Martin's character is also friends with Patty Reynolds in the play, who is played by senior Julia McCammon. Patty is also a part of the popular Mean Girls crowd and Meteor Boy. McCammon is looking forward to playing Patty because she is different from any other character she has played before. Most of the characters I've played before are like really soft-spoken and quiet when this character is um, outgoing and like mean and kind of like in the popular crowd, but she's cool, so yeah. If you want to see these characters in action, then be at the Performing Arts Center October 18th, 19th, or 20th. Reporting for THS TV on the cast of Meteor Boy, I'm Lizzie Milstead. The Thompson Magicals are selling popcorn for $2. The flavors are white cheddar, caramel, vanilla, kettle, salsa and cheddar, and cheddar cheese. Half of the proceeds will go towards funding the Magical field trip in April. If you want, to, if you want any, find anyone carrying a green Publix bag. This fundraiser will end in February. Haven't found the right attire for this year's homecoming? Reporter Gracie Coker has spotlighted one of the many homecoming shops around Alabaster to help you find your perfect outfit. Um, we have a peer helper committee that um, really wanted to um, celebrate the similarities to make us um, be more of a united um, school body and so we love that we all are different we all have our differences but um, we wanted a day to celebrate how we are all similar and how we are all part of the Thompson family and so we were hoping by doing something simple like wearing white music movies and more we've got the gossip in today in celebrity news in today's Hollywood headlines Lil Zan blames himself for his breakup with Noah Cyrus their breakup was extremely public as they fought over Instagram stories. Lil Xan claims that they could still be together, but he messed everything up. In a recent interview, Naomi Campbell was asked her opinion on Kendall Jenner, to which she replied, quote, next question, end quote. This was taken as a bad thing as she did not want to say anything negative. Sarah Ramirez of Grey's Anatomy recently said it's up to ABC whether she makes a return, signaling that she is totally up for it. Now we just have to wait and see what ABC decides. That's all for today's entertainment. Tune in on Tuesday for more entertainment updates. Now to Blakely with today's Health Corner. Yeah, yeah. 
When you think of testing, you think of long days of just sitting at a desk and staring at a scantron. With testing, it's important that we keep our bodies hydrated and well nourished by drinking lots of water and possibly even trying some of the great protein snacks. Try packing some Greek yogurt with slices of fruit or berries for a smooth but relaxing taste. Want something dry? Grab a bag of trail mix. Protein keeps our bodies up and moving the way it's supposed to. Another great snack is a protein wrap, which can be filled with many different foods. Want to check out more snacks to keep you well going for test? Visit www.brit-co.com. That's all for today's Health Corner. Now back to Danny with more news. Astra and surrounding cities gather today at Old Siluria Mills Post Office for worship, games, food, and a message. Chase Downey, the pastor at Stour Hills Baptist Church in Gadsden, Alabama, spoke to youth about forgiveness and differences in what society tells you and what the Bible tells you. After the sermon, the praise band closed with two songs and an invitational inventional. For more updates on events in your city, keep tuning in to THS TV. A mix of white shirts scatter the halls today as students and faculty are, are participating in We Are One Day. This week, the, in the lunchroom, peer helpers have been inviting students to commit to being part of a chance for a more exclusive school environment. The group will set up a table during lunch where students were invited to sign a banner encouraged to say hello and start a conversation with someone they don't know. To cap off the week, students and faculty are wearing a plain white t-shirt and jeans today to celebrate our similarities. Um, we have a peer helper committee that um, really wanted to um, celebrate the similarities to make us um, be more of a united um, school body and so we love that we all are different we all have our differences but um, we wanted a day to celebrate how we are all similar and how we are all part of the Thompson family and so we were hoping by doing something simple like wearing white with some blue jeans that we could um, we could show that we support that that we know that um, you know fellow students are um, just like us in lots of different ways and so that's what the the committee was trying to do and I think they did an excellent job So I think that We Are One Day is a uh, great um, thing for uh, the school. Yeah, it always shows our similarities and it shows that like we're all together and we're not alone and it's just really, really cool. Yeah, I think that's going to create, you know, like a more inclusive environment for the school just to show that everyone has, you know, that we're all humans and we all make mistakes and, you know, we're all human, basically. Yeah. <laughs> now Brad has you covered with today's bus stop forecast. But uh, anyways, the We Are One Day, like I said, uh, I think it's going to be great for building the uh, character of, you know, our school. And um, I think that, you know, um, it goes a long way. Like those small little events, they can definitely make a positive impact on a lot of it people's It really lives. does. I like how, like, they put, like, the symbol as white, because white is like a symbol of peace. And uh -huh. it's just, like, you're piecing together, like, just... It's really, really, really... Yeah, and like everyone has a white t-shirt and blue jeans, so... Uh, so that's all for today's news. Tune in on Tuesday for more news. And follow us on Twitter for updates happening uh, at THS this week. Have a great day.